Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Jan. If you're new here, thank y'all for being here. And I wanted something special. Or special to me. We're going to make some crab dip. Now, I can't afford real crab, so we're going to use imitation crab meat. Uh, and if you want to make this, you can always uh, cut this recipe in half. But I'm going to make a whole thing of it. So you'll need one pound, 454 grams, or, you know, 16 ounces of crab meat. If you, if you can afford the, the good stuff, get the good stuff by all means. You can even get it in a can, I believe. You're going to need cheddar cheese. You can also mix the cheeses and do part cheddar and part some sort of white cheese, Monterey, mozzarella, uh, whatever you like, um, but you'll need two cups of shredded cheese. You need one eight ounce block of cream cheese softened. You're gonna need only about a teaspoon of minced garlic or two minced garlic cloves. You're gonna need a third cup of sour cream. You wanna make sure it's light or full fat. You're gonna need a third cup of mayo. At least one teaspoon of Old Bay. Um, sometimes I like to add a little bit more, but for sure we're going to start with one teaspoon of Old Bay. You need a half teaspoon of pepper. You're going to want, I don't know, about that much green onions. Just say two or three tablespoons of uh, green onions. Those are optional, but I, I do think it makes it, you know, taste a little bit better. Uh, salt is optional because, like the old bay seasoning, it, it'll make it salty. The cheese is salty, so I'm gonna add a little bit, but just just a pinch. Optional, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Optional, one pinch of cayenne pepper. And optional, quarter to a half teaspoon of smoked paprika. I just like it. I just think it makes it taste a little bit better. And that is it. Now for this, we're going to do a cold crab dip. I just like the cold ones better. Um, I have a recipe for a hot crab dip. If y'all would like me to make that sometime, just let me know. So for now, I'm going to get started on shredding my cheese and getting our crab meat finely chopped up. All right. Well, we got our cream cheese out here softening up. First thing we're going to do is just chop away at our crap. Now I know a lot of people don't like imitation crab, but I honestly have no problem with it if it's you know in a dip. You can cut this up any way you want. I recommend you leave, you know, some big chunks. So you have some big chunks you bite into in your dip. Now, the cheese, I just cut this uh, pound block in half. The cheese, for some reason, I feel this time needs to be shred on this side. And I put my cheese in the freezer for about 20 minutes. Yeah, see that? I feel like it needs a, a smaller cheese in this. All right, y'all, here we go. Eight ounces of cream cheese at room temp. Mm. 
a third cup of sour cream. Third cup of mayonnaise. Cream cheese, mayo, and sour cream mixed. Now we're going to add our teaspoon of Old Bay. We're going to add a teaspoon of minced garlic. Half a teaspoon, garlic on me. A half a teaspoon of black pepper. Half a teaspoon. Now, again, this right here is to taste. Uh, you could also add in about a tablespoon of hot sauce right here if you want it hot. I'm gonna add in just a little splash. Cayenne, not much. That's it right there. I'm also going to add in a little splash of smoked paprika. That's it. And I'm going to add just a smidge of salt. If it needs it later, we'll come back and put it. But for now, I'm just going to be better safe than sorry. That's all mixed up. I'm going to add our first cup of cheese. I think it does much better when you use the, the small side on the grater. For this anyway. Now I'm going to add a whole nother cup. Look, I might as well just add every bit of this. Only a little spoon of it left, so let's just go and give it all to it. Now, the green onions that I'm about to add are also to taste. I love them in my dips, so. I want some more Obey in mine. Say about another half teaspoon.
Oh, yeah. Let's get the crab. Oh, this must have good already, y'all. Mm, I just love dips. I'm certain I told y'all this. Several of the dip videos I made, I just truly love them. Mmm. Don't that look delicious? Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 Mm. Perfect. I'm so glad I did not add any more salt. Probably didn't need the little pinch I put in there. Just remember, if y'all use Old Bay, you know it's got salt in it. Plus the cheese, plus the mayonnaise. That is so good. Now, we need this to sit in the fridge for about an hour. So all these flavors can, you know, gel. And, uh, and for the record, if you're one of those that prefers hot dips, all you got to do is spread this out in an 8x8, eight eight, cover it with another layer of cheese, and uh, put on 350 for, I don't know, 20 minutes. All you want is your, uh, your cheese to melt. So, I mean, you can do this either way. Now then. And here we go, y'all. Mm. I cannot wait to dig into this. Now, for me, I got uh, the everything Oreos, or I like the vegetable uh, flavor Oreo. I mean, I got the everything Ritz crackers, <laughs> and then the vegetable flavor Ritz crackers. And just plain old Ritz crackers or butter Ritz crackers, it makes no difference. I love Ritz crackers. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this bowl up. And then I'm going to cover this in saran wrap and we'll stick it in the fridge for one hour 